The out-of-service rates are displayed in the SMS webpage, but their calculations and the inspection counts used in their calculations do not come from SMS. I'll explain. This is Krista from Motocare Assistant bringing you another low-budget video that will teach you how the out-of-service rates are calculated and what to do to bring the rates down. This is part two of the SMS series. In this video, I'm going to cover what are the out-of-service rates, how are they calculated, and most importantly, how can they be brought down? All right, let's get started. Let's go to SMS and log on. The link is in the video description below. You know you are logged on once you see the word log out here. Then click on these links to get all your data. Either you see your data link or view the full SMS result link. Your out of service rates are right here in the middle. Pay attention to this date. The out of service rates are calculated with inspections received by SAFER as of yesterday. So what are they? First, let's talk about what they are not. The out of service rates are not an indication of motor carrier performance. They are not an indication that the driver, vehicle, or motor carrier are out of service. The out of service rates simply show the ratio of inspections with the out of service violations to all inspections. Like you see here, there are three types, vehicle, driver, and hazmat. We'll talk about each one in a little bit. Also, pay attention to the number of inspections listed here, 172. I'll bring this up later. In the previous video, the SMS overview, the link for the video is below, I took you through a simplified process flow. I would like to revisit that part here that affects your out-of-service rates. If you had an inspection on January 12th, and if that inspection was received by SAFER on January 14th, that inspection was used in the out-of-service rate calculations. And those calculations were displayed on the SMS page on January 15th. However, the inspection itself did not make it to SMS. And the chances are that you're not going to see it for another month. Let's go back to the SMS page for a second. When you click on the SAFER link right here, it brings you to your company snapshot. Scroll down to this section. I like this table because you can actually see what the numbers are being used in the calculations. And the math is pretty simple. The first thing that stands out is the number of inspections. Let me bring you up to the number of inspections from the SMS. Here you have 172. But in SAFER, you have 177. This is because of this date. SAFER is looking at 24 months worth of inspections as of yesterday. SMS looks at the number of inspections as of the date of the data cut. For this example carrier, you can see the differences here. For vehicle inspections, SMS has 150, SAFER has 153. For driver inspections, SMS has 172, while SAFER has 177. And for HAZMAT, SMS has 44 inspections, SAFER has 45. So most of the time, you're going to see the counts in SAFER higher than the counts in SMS. But how can you tell what inspections and driver inspections and which ones are vehicle inspections? For that, we need to take a look at the inspection levels. Vehicle inspections include those that are level 1, level 2, level 5, or level 6. Driver inspections include inspections that are level 1, level 2, level 3, or level 6. For hazmat inspections, they can be found at any level as long as they are hazmat present. That means you can do not have to be a hazmat carrier in order to have a hazmat out of service rate. I'll show you that in a little bit. Let's go back to safer company snapshot. For each type of inspection, we're going to look at the number of inspections and the number of out of service. And this out of service means the number of inspections that have out of service violations. To calculate the out-of-service rate for each inspection type, just divide the number of out-of-service by the number of inspections. So, for the vehicle, that would be 40 divided by 153. 
For the driver, it is 16 divided by 177, and for hazmat, it's 3 divided by 45. Let's take a look at the math. So here we have the formula to calculate the vehicle of out-of-service rate. We take the number of vehicle inspections with the out-of-service violations, that's 40, divided by the total number of vehicle inspections, that's 153, that gives us a 0.261 times 100 equals 26.1%. We do the same to calculate the driver out-of-service rate. We take the number of driver inspections with the out-of-service violations, that's 16, divided by the total number of driver inspections, that's 177. That gives us a 0 0.09 times 100, which is 9%. Let's do it one more time for hazmat. We take the number of hazmat inspections with the out-of-service violations, that's 3, divided by the total number of hazmat inspections, that's 45. That equals 0 0.067 times 100, which is 6.7%. I mentioned before that you do not have to be a hazmat carrier to get a hazmat out of service rate. If this applies to you, this is how you check on what's going on. Log into the portal and go to the company activity pod. Expand the inspection list and click on the link to view full report. Let's look at the last two years worth of inspections. Select inspection date option. In the to date field, select yesterday's date. In the from date field, select the same date, but change the year and go back two years. I'm using here the date range from January 14th, 2021 to January 14th, 2023. Now click on the search button. This is gonna list all your inspections. For each row is an inspection. Look at the last column here on the right, HM, and look for any of them labeled with a yes or even a no. The yes or no here refers to whether hazmat placard was required. Then look at the out of service violation columns. Anything greater than zero will make an inspection count as a hazmat out of service rate inspection. You could also look at the status column with an explanation point indicated that the inspection had an out of service violation. I'm showing you all this because sometimes these inspections are not labeled as hazmat and SMS. But remember that all this is happening outside of SMS, so the numbers will not always match up. So should you be worried about these out-of-service rates? Well, the insurance companies are looking at them, and most of the time they misinterpret what they mean. They see a high out-of-service rate and they jack up your premiums. My example carrier has 153 vehicle inspections. One more inspection is not going to make a huge difference. But what about the smaller carrier? The smaller carrier is just starting out, gets inspection, and gets the vehicle out of service violation. Let's do the math. Boom, an instant 100%. Is that fair? Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. The somewhat good news is that if the carrier gets one more inspection and that inspection is clean, meaning no out of service violations, the math would be one divided by two and that 100% would go down to 50%. And we know that the inspections get safer fairly quickly. So the change can happen in days. If, and that if a big if, the carrier gets one more clean inspection. How can you bring those out of service rates down? Review your inspections and violations. Maybe you're able to challenge inspections or violations. Keep in mind that SMS might not have the inspections yet. So make sure your drivers are giving you a copy of the inspections when they get them. Do those pre-trip inspections. Make sure the vehicle and the drivers are in tip-top shape before they hit the road. And of course, clean inspections. You can have violations, but as long as they are not out-of-service violations, these inspections will help you lower your out-of-service rates. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave me some comments. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. Until the next one.